When we're children, we like to play role-playing games, right? Uh, the little girls would play house and learn to be mommies and daddies, and the little boys would play cops and robbers and learn about fighting evil and being a good guy, right? Even my teenagers like to play it, uh, more advanced role-playing games. I think the reason that these games are so important to children is because they know that they're going to have to play certain roles in the future. They know that someday they are going to be mothers and fathers, and some days they are going to have to protect their family. And so to, to act out these roles and to practice these roles prepares them and teaches them how to fulfill those roles in the future. I think part of our growing up is learning and understanding the roles that we need to fulfill finding our identity in those roles, and then growing in understanding and how to fulfill them. Now there's a passage of scripture here in 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, verses 2 to 7, that starts out uh, with discipline and discipleship, you know, passing on the, these things from, from older brother to younger brother, and then it goes on to define three roles that uh, we fulfill, that we ought to live out as Christians. Um, in doing this, it helps us to see ourselves as disciples. It helps us to think about how we ought to live and how we ought to behave. Uh, it forms our identity as Christians, and it also helps us engage our imagination to picture what our lives ought to be like and what direction they should take. So here it is, 2 Timothy chapter 2. He says, What you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to faithful people who will be able to teach others also. Discipleship. Then he says, Share in suffering as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No soldier gets entangled in civilian pursuits because his aim is to please the one who enlisted him. An athlete is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. It is the hardworking farmer who ought to have the first share of the crops. So there's three identities that he gives us. And then he finishes it by saying, Think over what I say. For the Lord will give you understanding in everything. So that it closes with this, with this idea of chew on these things, meditate on these things. All right, so that passage of scripture calls out three roles that we play as Christians or as disciples of Christ. Soldier, athlete, farmer. Um, and each one has some particular things that that passage of scripture calls out. For the soldier, uh, it's that he's focused and disciplined, or the language that it uses is not distracted or, or not entangled in civilian pursuits. Um, and then there's also the idea of obedience, right? That he aims to please his master, all right? There's the soldier. And then the athlete has this connotation of he plays by the rules, he's fair, uh, and that he's competitive or that he's trying to win the crown. Uh, the farmer draws out these, a different but parallel uh, idea of a hardworking farmer and a hopeful farmer, uh, one that's looking forward to having a share of the crops. So the soldier, the athlete, the farmer, and it teaches us that the Christian life is focused, it's disciplined, it's obedient, it's fair and honest play, it's competitive, it's hardworking, and it's hopeful. Now that's just a start, right? Paul gives us these, th these three roles and then he teaches us a few things that we ought to know based upon those roles, and then he challenges us to keep thinking and praying about these things and grow in our understanding of them. Um, now there's another common thread that runs through these three roles of uh, soldier, athlete, farmer, and that's each one of these has an eyes on the prize mentality. Each one of these has um, an aim to win. And that draws me back to this other verse in Romans chapter 8, 37, that says, uh, in Christ we are more than conquerors. And if you take a look at the Greek in that, that, that verse, um, more than conquerors is actually one word, and it means like, hyper conqueror, or even if you're putting it in modern day language, super winners, right? And so it's challenging us to have this mentality of go get the prize, work hard and achieve. And that kind of follows through with the thread of all three of those roles. So where does that leave us? What do we do from here? Well, first, just like an athlete, farmer, and, and soldier, we fix our eyes on a goal, and then we train like heck to reach it, right? And the goal is to be like Jesus and to join him on his mission. That mission is to reproduce new disciples who also want to be like Jesus and to join him on his mission. And then we pursue this mission, we pursue this goal in the same way that a soldier, an athlete, and a farmer would pursue them with discipline, with focus, with sacrifice, um, whatever it takes to win, whatever it takes to have a harvest, whatever it takes to be victorious. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Uh, next video, we're going to talk about finding the power and the motivation to fulfill these roles. So power and motivation. See you next video.